I'm going to be talking to you today about a, a, a laser procedure that we invented in my lab. And, and, and this talk is not really about lasers. I mean, lasers are, are pervasive in our society. You've got them in, in CD players and such, and, and, and lasers are, are making breakthroughs in, in medical science right now. But, but this, is, this is something new. But this talk really isn't about lasers. It, it's, it's, a, it's a method for finding cancer very early. But this talk really isn't about cancer either. Cancer is just the biggest scourge of modern medicine, the, the, the great scourge of 20th century blending into the 21st century where, where cells go haywire and spread throughout your body and eventually kill you. This talk really isn't about lasers. It's not really about cancer either. It, it's about us. It's about patients. It's who, who's been to the doctor? I mean, who hasn't been to the doctor? Everything in medical science, basic science, applied science, clinical care, everything is about the patient. Everything has to be about serving the patient. All of us. We're all patients. So I'm going to tell you about this thing that we developed to find cancer very early. Big, red, scary letters on a black background. Cancer, it's what kills you. And with this method, we're going to find it very early. The key with all cancers is the earlier you find it, the better off you're going to be. Specifically, I'm going to start talking about melanoma which is usually a skin cancer. It happens elsewhere, too. But if you have a, a lesion on your skin, you go to the doctor. They, they slice it off and look under the microscope. And they say, yeah, that, that was melanoma. We, we verified it. And we're pretty sure we got all of it. We're not quite sure. Why don't you come back in six months? We'll give you a, a CT, an MRI, maybe a PET scan. And if we didn't get it all, maybe it'll grow big enough, like the size of a marble, and we'll know you still have it. So go home for six months and wonder every night, do I still have cancer? That is the current state of the art. So what are we going to do about that? You don't want to wait every night for six months, every six months wondering if you have cancer. Patients are always asking, isn't there a blood test? You can tell me if I still have cancer. I've got blood. Take all you want. Take it as often as you want. As long as you could tell me if it's still there. If it's there, I want to know it. If it's not there, I want to know it. The clinician wants to know it too. The clinician has to make decisions about your cancer care. So let's go back to the laser part. You do something called photoacoustics. It's where you use a laser to target certain things and, and give an acoustic response. It's called a laser-induced ultrasound. The laser picks out specific things and then makes it very obvious by giving a high-frequency sound. It's as obvious as a cell phone going off in a quiet auditorium. Circulating tumor cells, those are the cells that shed off of the, the cancer, the, the primary tumor, and spread through the bloodstream to go to your liver, your lungs, your, your brain, your bones, to create secondary tumors that kill you. It, it's, it's the harbinger of metastatic disease. I learned that word in eighth grade. I've been waiting 30 years to use it in a sentence. Okay? So I get that blood. You say, here's your blood. Let's separate the blood in a centrifuge that, so we can grab the white blood cells out of it. If you have a tumor cell, they'll be among those white blood cells because of similar density. So we're looking for the melanoma cell, the one melanoma cell in, in the white blood cell haystack. It's got millions of white blood cells. So we developed, a, it's, it's, we call it a photoacoustic flow meter. We've got a couple of lasers, and they're zapping a little flowing system. You're sending those blood cells through there, and you're zapping at them. And with the white blood cells, nothing's happening. That black pigmented melanoma cell is going to go to that laser light and create a high frequency sound that we're going to detect with uh, a, a very sensitive sensor. And this is what it looks like. All those little peaks up there that you see are melanoma cells in flow in that system. And you can count them. And you could say, oh, this month you had seven melanoma cells in your blood. Last month you had 20. Maybe you're getting better. Let's do another one next month or next week. What about other cancer cells, colorectal cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer? They don't have that color that melanoma does, because melanoma comes from your skin. Well, we have people at the University of Missouri, Katesh Kadi and others, who teach tiny particles of gold, nanometer-sized particles of gold, to attach themselves to these otherwise invisible cancers. Here's a breast cancer cell. We've attached tiny plastic beads that have color. So with the invisible cancer cells, the ones without melanin, we can do the same procedure because, in essence, we've painted them a color. And we can now do that same photoacoustic procedure for any cancer cell. 
So we can now find these single cancer cells in your blood. But this is the show me state. And you're saying, I don't care about spikes on a screen. I want you to show me. How about we take this continuous flow of, of blood cells and chop them up into little micro bubbles. Chop them up with air. And then you zap each micro bubble. If it's just white blood cells, nothing happens. There's no photoacoustic effect. You throw those away. The one bubble that has a photoacoustic effect, you grab it. And that photoacoustic effect stays within that bu bubble because there's something called a free surface between the water and the air. So if you hear a photoacoustic wave, you know that that micro bubble has the cell, has that melanoma cell or the painted other, other cancer cell, the painted breast cancer cell. So what do you do with it? You look under the microscope. This is actually a melanoma cell from a metastatic melanoma patient. We zapped that micro bubble, we saw the photoacoustic wave, we grabbed it, we looked under the microscope, and that green stuff is melanin. And the only reason you have melanin in your, in your blood is if there's a melanoma cell there. This is that, this is that circulating melanoma cell that's telling us about this disease state. So no longer are you gonna have to say, see you in six months, maybe my cancer will go big enough and you can tell me how sick I am. Just give me your blood and we're gonna look in, in the photoacoustic flow meter and we're gonna find these things as single cells, not billion cell sized particles. And then we're gonna, we're gonna do more validation and testing so that we can go through the regulatory process and do these tests to prove without a doubt that we're doing what we say we're doing and take it into the clinic so that we are going to go into the 21st century of cancer care. We're gonna tell you when you have cancer, right when you have it, not when it's too late. And we're going to go onward, and we're going to help everybody and use this for cancer and anything else in your blood. This may be applied to bacterial infections, parasitic infections. We're going to find little things in your bloodstream to tell you about your illness. And that's what's going to give you power, is knowing it. You as a patient, knowing it, and the clinician knowing it, and making good decisions about your cancer care.